Hello, dear traders, you're welcome to InstaForex TV channel with me, Kate Stichina. Today, the US dollar is still trading close to a 13 month high. However, its index is making a downward correction on the back of a gradual stabilization of the financial system in Turkey. The US dollar index dropped by almost 30 pips to 96.50, closing the North American and Asian sessions. In the recent sessions, the US currency found support mainly from the beyond the demand for the US treasuries. Turmoil in financial markets was triggered by traded jitters between the United States and its trade partners after Washington introduced higher duties on imports from several countries. Remarkably, uh, those countries which have suffered from the United States protectionist rhetoric are not going to give up. For example, Qatar agreed to back Turkey in the trade war with the US. Qatar decided to invest 15 billion US dollars in Turkey's economy. As a result, the Turkish lira is gaining ground against its American counterpart. Another factor is in market turbulence is that the United States and China are willing to settle the protracted trade dispute. Washington and Beijing have agreed to continue trade talks. In this context, the Japanese yen showed resilience to the US dollar in the Asian trade. The dollar yen pay again has sunk below 111.00. Japan's finance ministry reported that the country posted a trade deficit of 231 billion yen in July, missing an estimate for a deficit of 50 billion yen. Japan's overall exports jumped by 3.9% last month on a yearly basis, while imports surged 14.6%. In the Asia-Pacific session, the Australian dollar clamped marginally against its major counterparts. The USD pays trading today above 0 0.70 to 60. Experts say that the Aussie is uh, taking advantage of a downward correction of the US dollar. Data from Australian Bureau of Statistics showed that the Australian economy shed uh, 3,900 jobs last month, well shy of forecast for the addition of 15,000. At the same time, unemployment rate aged down to 5.3% in July from 5.4% earlier. Analysts had expected the flat reading of the jobless rate. The economic calendar today contains reports uh, of crucial importance. The US uh, is due to release data on the construction sector and manufacturing PMI. The European trade will kick off with the release of the UK retail sales. You are watching Market News on InstaForex TV channel with me, Kate Stichina. We wish you profitable deals with InstaForex.